What's up gamers, welcome back to yet another diecast opening and review. And uh, this one is another car from uh, the Talladega Fall Race in 2023. This one is Kevin Harvick's Bush Light Hunt car. Uh, similar to the one he ran in 2022 in the Fall Talladega Race. That was uh, the Wingman Bush Light scheme. Uh, but this one... Instead of uh, orange, it was blue, and it was a better color than uh, the orange one. So, I decided to pick this one up finally. So, um, yeah, let's get right into this. And, again, we have a lot to talk about once again. Uh, not just about this car, but in general with Stuart Haas Racing. is, you know, the news now is they're officially shutting down, so... That will be something we'll talk about in this video. Alright, as I have the box upside down here. The first time in a while I've done that. I'm going to put this out of the way here. Alright. Kevin Harvick Bush Light Hunt Standard. Uh, actually, we have two things to talk about for Harvick here. Alright, let's get this out of here. Because there's also news that just came out yesterday about Harvick, so we'll definitely stay tuned for that, and I'll talk about that as well, as we take a look at this beautiful Bush Light Hunt car, and I'm sure I could already imagine what sticker is going to be in here, I am sorry about the background noise by the way, don't mind that, that is uh, weed whacking going on, alright, Let's get this out. Let's get this out of the way. Uh, all this stuff. Return policy, whatever. And here you go. Once again, forever sticker. <laughs> That's like the 15th time I've had to show that to you guys. There's that as well. For the virtual garage. Oh, crap. And let's get into the die cast. Let's open this up and let's take a look at this beautiful... Beautiful diecast. Now, a lot of uh, camo, woodsy kind of, um, what do you call, design, I guess? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, makes this really cool as well. I also like this, like, duck back here. Uh, that's flying in on the, whatever that is. I don't know what part of the car that even is. I guess, like, the door above the quarter panel. Never really knew what to call it. Got DIN number 125 out of 504, I believe. Yes. 504 where these were made, so. Only got 125. Here in this DIN, so nothing special, I guess. And yeah. This is pretty much the car. It's got a light blue, uh, kind of cool line here. That was orange in 2022. See right there again with that blue line. A lot to talk about with this scheme specifically. <laughs> because uh, we already know how close he was in winning this in this car. So, And I wish he did because it would have looked amazing in uh, the race to win style. But first, let's go over the sponsors. We have Goodyear Bug Your Tire and the NASCAR Cup Series logo with the 75th anniversary logo. Then you have the 4 and Bush Light can right there with the camo on it. Uh, then you have Break for Bush, and then you have Mobile One there. And then over here you have Sunny D and Pristine Auction and Home Brothers Pizza. Uh, then you have Kevin Harvick and the name rail forever right next to it. Then you have four Mobile One Haas, Home Brothers Pizza, Rush Truck Centers, and Gear Wrench right over there as well. And then you have your Get Bioethanol fuel intake there that Ryan Blaney could have used. <laughs> uh, Gateway. We'll talk about that as well. Uh, and then on the deck lid, you have Bush Light with the camo on it. And then back here, you have another Bush Light logo. And then Mobile One and a Ford Michigan license plate, along with an another number four. On the other side, pretty much the same stuff. You have Gear Wrench. You have Break for Bush here with the duck. You have Farm Brothers Pizza, Bursting Auction, Sunny D. Forever here. Kevin Harvick on the name rail. Then you have Ford Mobile One Haas, Hunt Brothers Pizza, Rush Truck Centers. 
Uh, then you have the Bush Light Can. You have uh, a four right here as well. You have the NASCAR Cup Series logo, 75th anniversary, and Goodyear logo above the tire. <laughs> And then on the hood, you have the bush light. I'm pretty sure the color is supposed to be based off of the bush light, which is also pretty cool. Um, and then you have the Ford logo there above the bumper, which also has the number four and Stuart Haas Racing logo. And then on the roof, you have the four with the blue version on it, and you have the pristine auction there as well. But yeah, this scheme was in a close finish, as you know, with Ryan Blaney. It lost the race. Uh, it would have lost anyways, because he had, um, I think it was windshield fasteners not fastened, or something like that. Um, and he got disqualified, so he lost second place. And I think it would have stung more if he won the race, but I, it still hurts that he lost the race anyway. You know, it would have been nice to just celebrate anyway, but... Because, <laughs> you know, he was... I think he w almost won three races that season in 2023. Uh, the big one was Phoenix. But um, but it's always super speedways that he gets screwed over in. I mean, if you guys have ever noticed, Harvick was in front in the 2020s for a lot of super speed races that he wasn't wrecked out of. And... um. Every time, he would just be up there until the white flag, and everybody just leaves him hanging out to dry or something like that, or not giving him help. And was like, all right, can this end? Can he just win one super speedway race? Uh, and, and at Talladega, I was like, come on, please be the race that he doesn't lose for once. And he doesn't get help. He gets Corey LaJoy in the middle, and then wrecks the field, and then gets disqualified anyway. <laughs> you know. Ryan Blaney was going to win otherwise, but um, it still sucks that he lost. Uh, was that close from even getting a final celebration even uh, in 2023? But, uh, I mean, in one way it helps because I have his final win autographed. But um, it'll still definitely hurt that he lost by that much and a disqualification. In that race, in this car, this car right here, this is the only time he ran it at Talladega. And um, that's how he lost his potential final celebration, you may call it. Uh, that wouldn't have counted anyway because he got disqualified. I think like the same kind of thing happened this year uh, with the SHR cars at Atlanta. Uh, something wasn't fast and those two cars got disqualified. I think it was Priest and Gregson or something. Uh, I think Gregson lost the points, and, uh, now he's kind of, like, kicking ass. <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, Gregson could probably be in the playoffs right now if that wasn't to happen, but... Anyway, uh, speaking of Harvick, uh, just got announced yesterday that he's doing, um, a late model race in North Wilkesboro, and I think, um, some other place in California. I don't remember the other track, but it was it's in California, and he's doing uh, he's in a Chevrolet Bush Light car in the '62 late model. Um, so that diecast is up for pre-order. I already have pre-ordered it as we speak. Um, so that'll be very interesting. It's a very good-looking car, so that'll be really good to have as well with uh, his Hunt Brothers late model. If you haven't gotten that yet, there's like a thousand of those around, so. <laughs> but yeah, Stuart Haas Racing is officially going, um, I guess, out of business after 2024. So uh, if you ever want to stock up on some SHR diecasts this year, knowing that it's their final year now, might as well go ahead and do it because you may never see them again in uh, diecast because, uh, well, Josh Berry, Sonny D car has made it in MOQ and it already has those numbers. It's, uh, 504 124 is pretty sure the 164 also made it and i think uh another one noah gregson his uh black rifle coffee company one made it as well uh because they just had those last uh last call whatever tweets up so and it had one of his his car on it so we so far we have two shr cars that have made it uh without a doubt um 
At least I think. <laughs> At least I think so. I want to see if the gold Josh Berry car makes it, because I'll probably get that one as well. Um, because that's a really good looking car. Just a gold with black Mobile One logos on it. It's pretty cool. Um, and hopefully that makes MLQ as well. Um, uh, Chase Briscoe's had no die cast this year so far. Uh, his Mahindra, the one he ran at Charlotte, is being offered. And I think that's his last die cast being offered, unless they do the Ford Performance School one that he's running at Sonoma this weekend. Um, that is a good looking car as well. Um,. But yeah, all in all, that's really it for SHR.cast this year, unless more schemes come out, more offerings are being made. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I would honestly like to see if they do throwbacks, either throughout the year or on the final race at Phoenix, where all four cars do like throwbacks of, you know, the first couple SHR wins or the last SHR wins or something cool like that. It would be pretty nice to see uh, if that would happen, so... But yeah, all in all, really good scheme. I like this scheme. Um, I don't know if it'll be rare, but I decided to pick it up anyway because I like this scheme, even if, you know, it caused heartbreak. But yeah, you know, I guess it's it's really cool to just collect as much Harvick cars as I, as I can, especially HHR ones because that might also be the reason why they'll go up in price with the uh, SHR shutting down and everything, uh, which again sucks. Uh, I was hoping at least they would keep the Xfinity pr program going because they're doing a hell of a lot better than the uh, Cup program is, but it looks like they're just selling it off as a whole, so that sucks. But, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. I mean, nothing else for me to talk about with Harvick, at least. Um, last week for him in the booth of 2024... Uh, I have, I sure hope Fox doesn't come back, but I hope, uh, if anything, Harvick does come back. <laughs> um, I don't know what's going to happen there. I don't remember how long that contract was, um, but the, uh, the contract with Harvick and Fox and whatever is going on there. But, um, but yeah, um, if you guys like this video, uh, smash that like button, subscribe. Turn on notification bells so you don't miss an upload, especially if you like diecast reviews. Another diecast just got shipped out today. It was an elite, and man, that was the last thing I wanted to happen. Um, but I think you guys will like it. I'll like it too. Uh, it's the last one that I have for the foreseeable future. I have no shipments still uh, of July cars yet. So, but um, yeah. Uh, until then, uh, until the, till the uh, next review, uh, see you gamers next time. Have a great day, gamers.